Hello everyone and welcome back to Crash Bandicoot 2. Last time we went through warp rooms 1 to 3 and did a little bit of warp room 4, but like... By little I mean like one level and a secret one, but either way here we're gonna go to the next level. And thankfully we we don't have any more... Uh, well we don't have any more secret levels, but we do still have a couple of secret um, teleports. But um... Yeah, they're just gonna take us back to previous levels. I, I think there's only a, there's probably one or two more. I'm pretty sure we only have one left, and I believe it's in this level. But yeah, either way though, this is um this is what kind of what I was talking about earlier. Um, that there's so many levels that kind of have snow in them somewhat. Like this and the well, this is, basically has the same uh. Style, art style as the um, boulder chase levels or just the chase levels in general and again I just kind of wish they um, branched out a little bit more like try to think of more na uh, m think of more, some more nature environments because uh, Crash 1 did it pretty pretty well like um, the the um, they're, they had quite a number of different um, art like level themes that were nature based and I mean again I think the I think the ones are, that they chose for this game are fine I just don't think there were really enough of them like there are there are like three different themes at least that have snow in them and technically they are different themes but they all have some snow in them and it just kind of feels a bit redundant having so much snow in the game, but I don't know. And I failed. Right, can I just kill myself? Cause I actually, I actually want that. Cause he, if you go out to those uh, crates up there, you get a bunch of lives, I believe. So I want to get those. But um. But yeah, I just, I think in general, like Crash One did a be better job overall with the amount of uh, themes it had and the. The fact that almost all of them felt unique. Like, there are a couple of them that felt similar to others. Like, the uh, indoor and outdoor ruins levels were pretty similar. All, con all things considered. And that was close. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's what I wanted to do. But yeah, those levels were pretty similar. Um, the uh, Cortex Power and Toxic Waste weren't too different. Um, in terms of, like, the environment. Gameplay-wise, sure, you... Yeah. It was, but um, but yeah. In general, though, I just think that Crash One had a lot more uh, unique environments than Two. Um, but I, I'd say that Crash Two definitely fleshes out, fleshes the uh, in the uh, level themes out better. Um, so, but I I I'd say in terms of both of those, Crash Three does the best job. Like it has easily the best themes um like there's a really good amount a uh, good amount of diversity and they're really well uh, designed like they're what was it like i think they're the best designed themes in the series like there's a lot of uh, good platforming and challenge and it to, m to me it never feels un it never feels unfair um and it's another reason why I prefer Crash 3 over 2, like, it's just, it just feels like everything's right in that game, like, okay, it's not perfect, but it's very close, it, it's very close to uh, being, like, perfect, I, I'd say, like, there, there are a couple levels that I don't care for too much, but, okay, that, okay, <laughs> I actually survived, man. But yeah, Crash 3 just uh, cha uh, makes so many good changes um, that are, are they they don't make as many massive changes as, as Crash 2. Like Crash 1, uh, Crash 1 to 2 is a crazy improvement, and 3 just kind of expanded upon that, and they did it really well. Like um, the things that Crash 3 did bring to the table, um, I. I really do appreciate, like, the, 
as frustrating as the time trials can be to get platinum sometimes, and for some, just for some levels, just to get gold, I think it was a pretty nice uh, addition to the to the game, and just the whole again with the whole time travel aspect and all the different level themes and there's so much to see in Crash Free, and uh, again that's kind of why I like it, so, love it so much, and I. Curious to, I'm curious to see how they're going to improve upon it in the remake. Ho I'm really hoping they don't screw it up cuz like if they screw up the remakes that could be that could mean terrible news for the series like oh boy. Let's just hope we don't end up living in that world. But yeah, this is one of the worst backtracking sequences in the whole game like it's like you have to go really far back if you want to get all of the all of bo all of the boxes here and I messed up because yeah, you you go to the left because of the death route and then you have to go back and get all the boxes in this pathway and that was me being overzealous again because that doesn't happen enough with me but um but basically what you want to do is just Go across these areas, don't try and rush, um, for obvious reasons. And also, listen out for a, a yeah, listen out for a buzzing sound, because, like, that's, that's your cue, to, cue for a bee, uh, approaching you. So, it's gonna be, okay, okay, come on, uh, come on, man. But yeah, it doesn't really get any worse than this. It's perfectly manageable, but it isn't really ideal. And that was... Okay. <laughs> I take full fault for that. Alright. Don't care about that. Okay. And okay, and we're free. Okay, we can just go on. Now we just have to stay alive. All right. And also, this th these this level theme has a interesting little gimmick that I haven't talked about yet, which, okay, I'll get to when we get to it, okay, so, little platforms like this, if you spin while on the ground, you'll like dig, you'll basically dig into it, and you, I think you're invincible to almost everything except for Nitro, I believe, so, that's basically uh, where you, where you want to go if you want to, like, get rid of a bunch of bees or something. But if you do the slide spin trick, you don't actually go underground. And if you want to, book, if you want to go by faster, then that's really what you want to do. All right. So that one on the the plant on the platform there is where we want to go, where we want to go in a sec. But I'm gonna have to get the gem first, or the box gem, I should say. Okay, no. No, you don't. Okay. And now we have to go back. Because like I said, there's... There's a, um, secret warp in this level. And I'm just gonna kill myself. Because it doesn't... It doesn't matter, because, like, even though boxes are gonna reappear... We've got on the box gem anyway now, so... Don't have to worry about that. And it's just easier to do this... <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it's, it's just easier to do it this way instead of backtracking. And seriously, man. Stop. Alright. There we go. I don't know how you're supposed to get the Wumpa Fruit, but... <laughs> and there we go. Road to Ruin. And which means we can actually finish off 
warp room free now. Alright. And I... I've never tested this. I don't know if you can... Uh, activate a conversation in the secret warp room. Because I've had times when... I've gone to the secret warp room, and then right after I exit it to the main warp room, I get like a conversation. So I'm pretty sure they just stop a conversation from happening when you're in the secret warp room, but don't quote me on that. It's something I might uh, experiment with in the future, but yeah, who knows. Anyways though, that's literally it. Like that's all the secret area is. Like, just that little intro section. Or, like, what we could... Where the area to the left that we couldn't go, go to. That's pretty much it. But, yeah. I'll just see you guys when I get to the get to the gem. And we've got the gem. So, yippee dee da yippee dee day Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Like, we just got a message here. But, I don't know. Maybe we need to get enough gems? Beware of the trick. <laughs> oh, man. Sounds frightening. Well, you're gonna get frightened now. Maybe this is what Coco was war uh, telling us about. Ah, oh, either way. Uh, I'm just playing, but yeah. This is one of the worst, straight out one of the worst levels in the entire entire trilogy. Like, I'd argue there's one level in Crash 3 that's worse than this for different reasons. Like, it's not because of platforming or anything. Like, there's no platforming in that, in that level. And it's the worst part of Crash 3. Like, that's... The main thing that stops me from calling Crash 3 a perfect game. Um, well, no, yeah, no game's perfect, but yeah. <laughs> um, but either way, though, in terms of platforming, yeah, this is the worst level in the trilogy. Because, like, for, well, for starters, it is... The fact that it's a snow level isn't really a, um, a bad sign. Like, there's not a lot... There really isn't a lot of... Uh, bad ice physics gimmicks uh, most of the time in these levels um but there's that's gonna change later on uh, down in this very level um so there are three different well, well there's probably more than three but there's three glaring strikes i guess you could say um one strike one being the there's a hidden box right up here that screwed me over multiple times on my first playthrough like I went through this level went through all the torturous level design and like up to like three times or so and it's like you got 154 out of 155 or something boxes and I wanted to just rip my hair out like where the hell was I missing this thing and it turns out to be in like the most stupidest place in the world it's like it's like uh, what some call me Johnny said in his uh, Crash Free review, I believe, that they probably added the counter in bonuses just because of that stupid hidden box, hidden box in that bonus here. But um, yeah, that's strike one. Strike two is that there's a death route in this level, so you're gonna have to go up to this point without dying, and if you do die, yeah, you're gonna have to restart. I guess you know there's a lot more than three strikes. I'm just going to keep going until we're done. But yeah, strike three is that pretty much all of this is ice physics with a bunch of nitro um, and crushes and so many things in your way. And it's not really pleasant. <laughs> um, and strike three is that once we go down here, it's enough that we have to avoid all these nitro and crushes. But in order to get all the boxes, you're going to have to go through this um, section here, hit that uh, exclamation mark box so you can get some more gems oh, and then go back and then go down on the death route again or da back down here I should say um, 
But there's a gem right after that, and you have to fall. You, there's no way you can get the gem, as far as I know, without using, like, a moon jump cheat or something. Um, but yeah, I, I don't think there's a legit way of getting the gem on, on one go and then going back to get the boxes here. Because, yeah, there's boxes... As you can see, there's boxes in this death route. So, if you want to get want to get both gems, what you want to do is, yeah, not die. Um, jump and get the gem, and then kill yourself, because the thing is, there's more boxes past this pathway, past the death route. And if we fall down to where the gem is, um, we're going to skip an entire section of the level, which means we're going to miss, miss a ton of boxes. So yeah, what you want to do is you want to get all the box, all the gem, or both gems, again, is get go down here, get the gem, kill yourself, go back to the death route, go through it again, hit the bot, hit the uh, iron box, then go all the way back to get all the boxes that, um, that are in this death route, including the ones that just appeared because of the box, and then you're going to have to go all the way, okay, and then you're going to have to... Go to go through the pathway past the death route, and then you're gonna have to be careful because even though even though you're done with it, even though you're out of the death route, you can't die until you get get to the next checkpoint. Otherwise, you're gonna have to do this all over again for the bot for the box gem, and yeah, all of that combined easily makes this the most annoying level in the. Uh, well, an most annoying platforming level, I should say. At least in my opinion. Um, and... If it was... If you're just going by, like, the main level, it's not too bad, but... It's, again, like, Slippery Climb. If you're going through the main level, um, it's perfectly manageable. If you're just going through it normally and not bothering about the gem. But, again, with this, if you're going through the level, it's perfectly reasonable... Because it's like the last uh, snow level in the game, I believe. Or the last major snow level. With like snow as the main theme and all that. But, um... Yeah, if, if you're just doing the main level, getting the crystal and just leaving. It's perfectly fine. But it's when you... Act, if you... When you just can start to consider going for the, for the gems that... You're going to have a rough time here, like... Even if you're a veteran Crash player like I was when I went into this level, because I, again, I played Crash, I only played, uh, played Crash 2 my first time a couple years back, and by that time I played the crap out of 1 and 3, and even then I had the mi most miserable time with this level, and even now I don't always get it, okay, that was close, I, I felt like I could have fell in between though, in, in between, the platform but yeah we're not in the clear just yet we still have to get we still have to get the um checkpoint so yeah don't even bother doing any cool tricks here like as even if they may make this go by faster you don't you don't really don't want to risk a potential death here and thankfully they're a little bit generous with like uh, the level most of the level design here because a lot of this stuff is, a lot of the upcoming obstacles are pretty straightforward. So thankfully you don't have to worry too much about some bullcrap stuff happening again. But yeah, I, okay, that, now, now we're free. But the fact that you still, you're still not free after all that nonsense is kind of like evil enough. <laughs> but yeah, those are all the all the major strikes against this level. Like, I I stopped counting, but you got the point. <laughs> yeah. And, I mean, if you're, per if you persevere enough, it's totally be, to totally manage manageable. It's definitely not the worst thing ever, but it's really unfair. Like, that goes, goes without saying, really. But, yeah, we're done with the worst of it. Well, Kind of. There's something else in Warp Room 5 that's kind of kind of annoying, but I don't think it's near it. I don't think it's as bad as this, personally. 
Like, the level design is a lot more uh, manageable, in my opinion. But we'll, we'll get to it. It's not too far off, actually. And I don't want to miss a gem. Or a box, rather. Okay. Don't care. I forget how many boxes there are, there are in this level, but... I think it's 155. Alright. Alright, we should have it. Please be enough. Yes! Okay, we don't have to worry about this level anymore. Coolio. Alright. So, ruination. Okay, so we have another ruins level? <laughs> we already... We just did the, uh... Road to Ruin again, so 